So I've got a Kohler 50 amp generator running a whole house to code, it's done right, with the automatic transfer switch and a load shed kit. Here's the setup so far, not quite done yet. It goes outside. It's a one inch conduit for the power, half inch conduit for the four low voltage wires that go to the generator. You also need a 120 volt circuit going out to the generator to charge the battery. And uh, the controls get its power from that. So the old service here, a conduit used to come out of there from the meter into the bottom into the panel. We got rid of that, ran a new SE cable up the wall and poking out to the line side of the transfer switch. <clears throat> and then there's the two loads out. It's the generator feed right there. In the back bottom, that's the load back out to the house, which just comes right back and feeding the house. Now, this big module was added on. If I had a 200 amp generator, I wouldn't need all this. Now, that's the load shed kit. What that does, incorporate these relay boxes. You can shed four loads. You get load A, load B, load C, load D. And you can shed two HVAC loads, but you have to run thermostat wire from here to the condensers outside. Like a two wire out to break the loop to the AC unit one, and a two wire thermostat wire out to break AC two. And these right here, when the generator it's got a CT here that monitors the generator current. If the generator voltage starts dropping down from too much stuff being used, what this load shed kit does, it will send power out on load one first. And that goes up, activates that relay and tells it to open up and it won't let power go through anymore. To, that's the dryer. My next load B and C, I'm gonna go to a 220 pump that we don't need in an emergency and the heat and AC we're doing hardwired instead of running thermostat wire all the way back to the units so this 50 amp line does all the heat and air so that'll open up last and that's how you shed the loads basically took the wire pulled it out of the panel put it straight into the back of the box and then came back out of the box into the panel we're doing the same thing here Took the old 50 amp heat and AC out of the panel and a new wire back up into the panel. And same thing with the pump. Pull the old pump out and a new pump wire up. And then I gotta get 100, the 120 volt coils from B to this contactor. It'll come out of the load shed through that half inch pipe. It goes to the contacts here right there and right there that tells this relay to open and not send power to the pump anymore and then I'll pass through a second wire in that conduit come into this relay and that will tell this one to open up killing the heat and air and that's about how you do it